The headlines read, Joe Mixon hits female student. Let's get more specific. Joe Mixon hits Amelia Molitor. Let's get more specific. Joe Mixon hits Amelia Molitor after she pushes and slaps him. Sounds a little different, doesn't it? His career should be ended and he should be finished with life because he hit her. But no one is speaking of any punishment for her after she pushes and slaps him. Why is she not wrong for what she did? Why is it not self-defense what he did? Why is Bob Stoop saying the punishment wasn't severe enough. What do we want to happen to a freshman in college? Do we want his whole life ruined? Does he not get a second chance? When we use violence to communicate, this is what happens. I'm not condoning Joe's actions and I'm not condoning Amelia's actions either. Keep your hands to yourself. If she had knocked him out, she would have been a champion for women everywhere. Y'all would have made her famous. We would have praised her. She would have been the buzz of social media and you know it, but she lost and now she's a victim. It was tragic, it was a travesty, and it should have never happened. But I want us to get out of the mindset and the habit of condoning violence towards men by women. He made a poor choice, and she did too. The lesson for all of us should be to keep our hands to ourselves. I don't believe a man should hit a woman, but I also don't believe a woman should hit a man. Talk to him, you better not do that. Don't do that. Keep them paws off them. Those paws will get you in trouble. I believe we should respect each other enough to talk through our differences, no matter how difficult they may be. But I must reiterate to everyone, keep your hands to yourself. It goes out to both of their families because now potentially two lives are greatly affected by this. And it could have all been avoided. Wait for it. Free Blanche. Get money. Go.